Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast for CEOs and executives in the digital marketing and social media space share their best advice. It is six questions in nine minutes because leaders know what they're talking about. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. My name is Jeff Hagee. I'm a success coach. I'm based in Gilbert, Arizona. And I work with businesses and work with uh, entrepreneurs and high achievers, and especially those that want to develop a powerful mindset to get to the next level. That's awesome. So what's the best thing about leading your business? You know, leading the business, I think one of the best things is the impact that you can have on people, whether it's people that you're working with directly or the compound effect of how you can impact someone directly and they in turn have an impact on their staff, on their customers or whatever it is, but the leadership that you can create that helps create that impact that's a domino effect. Absolutely. So I hear from others that it can be challenging to grow your business today with everything that is going on. So what are the biggest um, challenges you see business leaders facing today? I think some of the biggest challenges of people that I've been working with is one is fear you know, everything that's going on, they're facing all these fears and not always making the smart business decisions that they would if they were in a different environment. And so once they can get past that and they can start just focusing on making good decisions again, I've seen a lot better results. And I think one of the main things you have to do is look to your team. You know, as a leader, you've got to empower your team and trust in them that they can make good decisions as well. And so I think making sure you're not in a position where you're micromanaging your team is very beneficial. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So um, what is the best advice that you can give to other business leaders about creating a successful business? I think it just adds on to what my last, my last uh, answer was, is it's in creating your team. It's getting the right people, as Jim Collins would say, getting the right people on the bus in the right seats. And making sure that they know what the goals are and what your vision is, and then giving them the ability to go do that and make their own choices and decisions and help you achieve your goals. Yeah. Do you have some actionable steps that you can share to other business leaders in getting um, the team that they want to? I think a lot of that comes down to, I mean, you've got to attract the right people and you've got to make sure that they're the people that one, are going to buy into the values that you have, the values that your company has. And I've seen it in a lot of situations. I was dealing with a client this week that was making decisions on hiring someone because they didn't have a lot of options. And they were they felt that it was the wrong person, but they needed someone quickly. And so they made the hire, which I think is a mistake. I think you've got to it's puts them in a tough situation, but hiring the wrong person is going to end up causing more problems down the road. Maybe not just with that person, but other people on the team and yourself and the company. So it's got to be able to make sure you're finding the right people. That's true. Um, you, you mentioned about competition and we all know that in business, um, there's always a competition. So how do you think or what are some advices that you can give to other business leaders to um, really um, attract this kind of people, even though there's a competition outside? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think a lot of that is the, the environment you create and the atmosphere you have and all the values you carry because we, I mean, it's a fact we spend most of our time at our jobs and we spend so much time working at those jobs and with those people, you've got to enjoy your time there. So you've got to create an environment where people are engaged and have the energy and excitement of trying to achieve the goals of the company, but enjoy being there. If they're, if they're waking up every Monday morning, dreading going to work, that's not the right environment that they want to continue to work in. So when you can create, create that, you're going to attract higher quality people. Absolutely. That's so great. So what other successful business leaders like yourself, um, would you like to acknowledge and should be on the podcast? Oh, there's, there's a lot. There's, 
I, I would say, and I say this because I was just talking about him because he's such a great guy, is Jesse T. Um, and I can share his information with you, but he's a, a great business leader. He does some great things. And one of the best things about him is he's so focused on helping others. All right, awesome. I will look them up. So now for the final fun question, um, who is the most interesting person to follow on social media and why? You know, one of my favorite is Richie Norton. Um, he's been a friend of mine for many years and he's just, he's a brilliant entrepreneur and coach and the things that he does. And he really has created a lifestyle that comes before anything else. He, his family and the life that he wants to live comes before his job. And I really admire him for that. And he just does some amazing things. And so he's a lot of fun to follow. Awesome. It was a pleasure having you on. So how can people find you? Absolutely. Um, my name is Jeff Hagee, J-E-F-F-H-E-G-G-I-E. -E -G -G -E, and that is my website, jeffhagee.com. And there's a few things on Instagram. It's Jeff Hagee Coaching. Same as on Facebook, Jeff Hagee Coach on Twitter. And for anyone that's interested, I've got some free giveaways. I'm working on some mindset tools right now. If you go to jeffhagee.com slash mindset, there's some free um, mindset question tools there. And also anyone that's interested in a free strategy session, if you go to mindsetsecrets.jeffhagee.com, you can sign up for a free strategy session there. And I would love to talk to you about business mindset and all the things that tie in with that. Awesome. Well, that's a wrap. This is Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast for more insights and ideas. Go to our website, leadersinbusinesspodcast.com. Thank you.